from Two Trees Yoga and Fountain Hill Center. And I thought that I would give you just a quick warm up that you can do if you need to stretch a little bit, move through your body, but you don't necessarily have the time to do like a whole hour long class. So we're gonna do just a short little warm up, moving our spines in six directions. So I will start standing up nice and tall, pull your shoulder blades back behind you. Ground down into your feet, so press into your feet to get nice and tall. Notice that connection between your feet and the floor. Notice how your body's feeling. And notice that breath moving in and out. I'm going to begin to add some movements to this breath. So to start, lift your arms overhead as you breathe in, big stretch in the middle. Exhale, arms come back down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands come down. One more, just like that. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time as we inhale, we're going to start the same way, but we're going to stay lifted up. Grab one wrist and tip away from that wrist to stretch through your side body. You might open your chest towards the ceiling, take a couple of breaths here, ground down really strongly into your feet. Notice that long stretch through your side body. And then come back up to center. Exhale your arms down. Shake them out. If you have a friend, you might give them a little bit of attention for a moment. And then we'll begin to move to the other side. So inhale, lift up. Grab the other wrist, tip over to the side. Perhaps open your chest, look up. Ground down into both feet. Nice long stretch through your side body once again. Inhale back up to center, big stretch, look up. Exhale, let your arms drift down to your side. Take a nice grounding breath, notice how you're feeling. Again, we're going to start the same way, but we're going to add a twist. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms parallel to the floor and twist to one side. It doesn't matter which side you choose to do first. We're going to do the other side. See if you can keep your hips towards the center and just move your torso out to the side. Good. On your next inhale, lift both arms up overhead. Twist in the opposite direction. Stretch those fingertips out wide. Notice that twist through your spine. Again, try to keep your hips towards the front as much as you can. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, let your arms drift down. Good. One more. So, so far we've done side to side. We've done twisting. But we need to flex our spine in one more direction. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this a little better. I would put a slight bend in my knees, fold forward a little bit, and place your hands on your thighs. And we're going to round our spine so you're looking down at the floor, arch your back like a Halloween cat, and then do the opposite. Pull your shoulder blades together, look up. So if you ever have done yoga in a class, this is a standing version of cat and cat. So we're arching our back and then pulling our chest forward. We'll do that two more times. You might move with your breath or you might hold a little longer. One more. Pull that chest forward. Come to a neutral spine and back up to center. So that is a quick version of the six directions of the spine. So if you just want a little bit of movement, you have not a lot of space or even not a yoga mat, but you want to move, that's a great exercise to do um, to get a little bit of movement through your spine. Thank you for joining us.